Hi, I'm Anne Mwawado. Here's your channel TV morning news update for February the 11th, 2020. We made several attempts for Nigerian military to establish a unit in Aono. Borno State Governor Babagana Zulum has challenged the military to be alive to their responsibilities. Governor Zulum, during an on-the-spot visit to Auno, where Boko Haram terrorists killed at least 10 stranded travelers, commiserated with the victims' families and stressed the need for the military to establish a unit in the affected village. Meanwhile, President Muhammadu Buhari has commiserated with families of the victims of the attack by Boko Haram terrorists, assuring them that his administration will continuously frustrate the devilish operations. A statement from the president says President Buhari condemned what he describes as the murderous and cowardly attack on innocent passengers by the terrorists near Maduguri. Away from crime matters, the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, has told the Minister of Information and Culture, al Lai Mohammed, to denounce every thought of securing $500 million for the upgrading of the Nigerian Television Authority, NCA. The party claims that the loan was a clear attempt by the cabal and the Buhari presidency to worsen the economic situation in the country via the use of phony projects. On the international scene, heavily armed police and soldiers in El Salvador have forced their way into parliament, demanding the approval of a $109 million loan to better equip them. They entered the building as President Nayib Bukele was about to address lawmakers. Earlier, he gave them seven days to back his loan plan. And in sports, the Edo State Governor Mr. Godwin Obaseki has declared the third Edo Sports Festival open in Benin City, the state capital. No fewer than 700 athletes from across the 18 local government areas of the state are participating in the multi sports event that will serve as a rehearsal for the 21st National Sports Festival that the state will be hosting later in March. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later today for the evening recap. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.